Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a moment to share with you about some of my ideas and philosophy behind food and activation energy foods. Some of you may or may not know that in 2004, I went to a school called the Institute of Integrative Nutrition in New York City. And at that school, we learned about the different types of food modalities like Ayurveda, vegan, vegetarian, vegetarianism, uh, living more of an Atkins type light diet, more meat consumption. And we tried out all these different types of food ideas and plans. And I'll be honest with you, by the time I graduated from the school, I was pretty religious about food consumption and quite frankly, obsessed. And it was causing a wedge between my husband, my family, my friends. And what I realized is I needed to take that food obsession and put that back at the foot of the cross and really look at God, having God examine my life and understand how I should eat. But I do want to say for the record that I know that there are individuals who are living with dis-ease and the way we look at food and our food consumption could actually get us back into a state of ease and or balance. And so in that regard, having a more restrictive view on your food is a healthy thing because you need to be able to get your body back into a state of balance. But I would say for the most part, my philosophy is on food, the more whole food you eat, the more of a whole life you will have. Whole food, meaning food that comes from the ground that is not altered by human hands that much or was a processed so the more whole foods you eat or the more foods that come from animals who roam around the, the earth then the better off you will be if you choose to eat meat that is it but eating food that comes from the ground is going to be your most ideal plan now i will say that if birds know how to eat and animals know what to eat then we know what to eat, but we just have to turn, tune out a lot of the stuff we've been talking about over the last couple of weeks in order to be able to hear from God because God can do all things, even know what we should be consuming. But in your handouts, I've outlined some foods that pack a powerful punch. They're called activation energy foods for a reason. There are a small amount of food that do amazing things for our bodies and so I wanted to be able to stop talking and be able to let you get into my cabinets and show you a little idea of what my cabinets look like and then also be able to share a few recipes that, um, and foods that I consume that perhaps you might like. So here we go. I thought I'd be completely transparent and let you into my cupboard. Uh, my top drawer is just a lot of condiments, um, lots of different nuts and um, peanut butter and of course you see the famous ranch sticking out there but that tends to be like more of my first drawer my second drawer tends to be the more beans I use a lot of different types of grains here brown rice quinoa wild rice and different types of beans and sauces tomatoes to cook with here I have more oats and some corn chips and down here, um, David loves those fit crunches and his protein powder. And then of course, my most important section was is my sweet potatoes and my onions. Okay guys, in an effort to keep it 100, I thought I'd let you into my refrigerator. No, I didn't clean it out before I showed you. I'm just showing you how it actually is and what I look like on the inside because I like to just keep it real and let y'all know what, how I live just because how I roll yeah one of the things broke so yeah there's the famous ranch and some apple cider vinegar and some silk almond milk so which is primarily what we drink we don't really drink a lot of dairy um, but I try to keep this stocked because you just want to be able to have access to vegetables right away because you can saute drop in these suckers on anything now, I just happened to have gone to Costco and I got some fruit. I usually try to chop up my own fruit, but hey, we got some blackberries here, blueberries there, and pineapple. And then these little famous non breads. Um, we just add a whole bunch of vegetables and olive oil to those types of breads. Just whatever we can do there. And of course, the famous Thomas brand things because David loves those. And we always keep tomatoes on hand 
just because we like to chop those up into everything and the famous avocado. I keep my avocados in the refrigerator, do you guys? Uh, yeah, so there's my neighbor. Hey, I just wanted to give you some insights into my favorite smoothie. I love the Nutribullet. I think it works just fine. I have my uh, ice and water here at the base of the blender. I'm going to, of course, juice one lemon. I'm going to put an avocado in. I'm going to shave up my English cucumber and chop it up. I'm going to take a cup of half, a half of spinach and some frozen mango that I both got from uh, Costco here, organic brands. If you can get organic, great. If not, I know it's expensive. Try your best. But that's how we started out. Okay, next up is uh, what I love is to be able to have a food that has some soluble fiber, but it's really good for you. And as we've described in the handout, these are perfect. Carrot and sweet potatoes. We're simply going to shave them, give them a nice little shave, and then chop them up into chunks. Add some olive oil and some Louisiana Cajun seasoning. Pop them in the oven, and we have a meal. They're in the oven and uh, at 400, it's 252. We're gonna see how long these suckers take. All right. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. We wanna get a little bit of char and a little brown and I'm gonna take these out and dress it up. Okay, I got another recipe that I love. Um, it involves this Lundberg brand of, of wild rice. It's a combination of brown rice and wild rice. And what I do is I cook up a whole bunch of it and put it in little baggies, freeze them so that I can easily pull them out of the freezer. And I'm gonna mix it with cilantro. I'm gonna take lemon and olive oil, mix that together. I'm gonna chop up some red onion, some red pepper. You can do green pepper, really any vegetable that you love. Chop it up and then add chickpeas and black beans. For me, for protein, of course, you can add chicken or any other protein that you like. And I'm gonna add my Cajun seasoning and my red pepper, to which I truly love. I'm gonna mix it all together and it's gonna be so good. 